funnily enough, this is going to come back to mushrooms, isn't it? Um, yes. Van yeah. Kuypen and um, in mushrooms. <laughs> um, so the um, puffball is yeah. the name of that. So you've got chitin and all sorts of things in mm. there. And what they've realized is that this um, chitin is a massive hemostat, which can stop bleeding within three minutes mm. in the femoral artery. And you find that these people who are at the scene of the injury, who are bleeding out, their mate can put this product in that wound and stop but, the bleeding within three but, minutes. But it's interesting, this isn't new. This isn't new. Do, do you remember, um, what's his name? Otzi, was it Otzi? I'll, I'll look it up. The, 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 uh, the Iceman. The Iceman. Yes. Yeah. In his pack, they discovered, among everything else, a bracket fungus called strop fungus. Really? Yeah. And strop fungus, uh, they, they thought at the time, was probably useful because, you know, as a strop, you can use it to sharpen a blade. It, yeah. it's, it's like leather. And you can use yeah. it. To, now, if you dry it out, you can use it as tinder. But one of the things... Yes, Mike? You're timing out? Uh, just to just just to fill people in, Otzi was a uh, a character. Question whether he was a chef, sheep herder, or or a trader, who was discovered when a glacier in the high Alps melted, and what we were gifted was an almost perfectly preserved corpse in his clothes, um, and we've been able to analyse exactly what he was up to. I can't remember. What, I can't remember when he was discovered, Julian, or, or how old it's estimated. Uh, I, I think it was the late 1990s, wasn't it? Was he crossing from Austria to Italy? or yeah, he, he was. was. And, and it, yeah. Yeah. If I, if, I'm probably going to get the facts wrong here, but I, I think when he was discovered, uh, they, they thought he was a, a recent murder. Yeah. And so quick as a flash, they kicked him across the, uh, the border to allow the German police to investigate. <laughs> and and then when they found out that it was about three thousand years old, they they, they pushed him back in the sea, and it was cool. We don't want to yeah. So you had this strong fungus. Now one of, one of the things that, that I'd read about a few years back, um, that the strop fungus was possibly used for in the in the Middle Ages was as a plaster, and you can cut the um, uh, the, the, the dorsal surface off and slice it, and the the skin. Uh, of, of the um, uh, of the fungus will actually stick to your skin. Are we talking about a birch polypore? Yes, absolutely. Oh, maybe. Birch... I tried to find one today. <laughs> yeah, you. I've got a. I, I'm trying to find. I've got a picture of, of of my foot with a huge blister on when I was doing some some climbing ones, and I and I found a birch polypore, cut a, a square off, and used it as a blister plaster. And it was perfect. And so the feeling was that Odyssey was carrying it not as a as a knife sharpener, but in case he had any wounds. Had a band aid. And so you know, from, from from a couple of thousand years ago, there were people using these things, and we're, we're, and we're rediscovering them. We, we've lost a lot of that. That. Apparently he also had sphagnum moss and he had a bandage on his hand with sphagnum moss in it. And they found that sphagnum moss is um, as absor more absorbent than a lot of the alginates that we've got. And yes. it contains a high iodine content, which is antimicrobial. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, it, it, we haven't got be, very far. Yeah, it used to be used as a, as a, a you know, a panty liner. So uh, well, sphagnum moss is brilliant stuff. Sphagnum moss absorbs up something like 10 or 12 times it's it, it's a volume in, in fluid 